Hey, my name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. We're going to be talking today about um, how far back you can go for education records in order to obtain them to be used for, for example, a Social Security disability claim, whether it's SSDI or SSI. Let's talk. All right, the one big thing that you really need to know about this is that schools pretty much hold on to records about their students, including medical records from their nurses for a really, really long time. Most of them do. So the whole seven to 10 years thing for medical facilities such as hospitals doesn't really exist for schools. They'll usually have somebody going back 50 years, um, which is awesome, unless you have to go out of the country, in which case a lot of the schools don't have those records. What you basically need to know is this, um, as you approach the school thing and how I get medical records, what I need from them, yada, 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 remember, the school records don't always have everything in them. So if the student had a slow learning disability and emotional handicap, remember, all those things way back in the day aren't going to line up with the current Florida statute information. So you got to kind of figure out, wiggle it, see which ones. And I'll do, uh, I've got a page on my mid-client interview form, and everybody knows that as far as lawyers go, I have the largest forms for learning information about you guys because I do a very in-depth job, and I use these forms as part of that. Um, but I'll go through what some of those programs are and things that you need to know. But remember, emotionally handicapped, slow learning, SLD, slow learning disability, those things don't exist anymore as those titles. They now have these different titles. I'm gonna go through those in another video. Just kind of stay tuned. Um, but either way, my name is Attorney Walsh Rufinoff the third. I'm with an Orlando-based Social Security Disability, Orange County, uh, Florida disability firm. It's called Disability Resolution PA. What you need to know is that uh, if you learned something from this video, please, please, please go give me a five-star review at Avo in the comments section or right in the little bio. It's got a little link at the top where you can go ahead and take it, put it into another browser and leave me the review. And if you have any unique questions for unique claims, please give me a call. And also this information may be old news by the time you get to it. So give me a call and I'll give you the most up-to-date stuff. All right. Thanks so much. You have a great day and we will go from there. Thank you. Bye-bye.